Here's another great video brought to you by Brayton Energy Canada. For more information, please visit www.energyconsultingadvice.com. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Innovation, efficiency, and renewables all have to go hand in hand, and we have to we have to remember that it's 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 a a, a mix of solutions or or a, a collection of solutions that are really going to get us where we need to go. No renewable energy solution can stand alone. We must combine them. More than anything, there is a need for a change from fossil fuels to renewable energy. But this is not happening. All the other things happened. This is not happening. That's, of course, very interesting. Mm. Also very sad, actually. I'm very surprised to come here, see what resources you have, an abundance of uh, resources for wind energy, for solar energy, for biomass, for hydro, for everything here. And still there's been discussed uh, to build a nuclear power plant. So what we found in, in both Alberta and Ontario, and so the, de the detailed studies that we've done there, is that there's a, not only is there a huge untapped potential for renewables, but there's actually uh, enough renewable potential that, that we can be tapping into, that we can start phasing out uh, some of our traditional electricity sources that are, that are either old or polluting uh, or both. And now compared with renewables, you have the potential of the source everywhere, everywhere. That means you can relink the places, the spaces of energy harvesting and energy consumption. And this changed the whole economy, this changed the world. This renewable energy industry is the, is the key uh, for overcoming the world energy crisis, which is a nuclear and a fossil crisis. We have always had the ability to develop renewable energy on a scale that we need. It's always been a question of do we have the will to do it. It's never been a question of the technology. It's always been a question of do we really want a renewable energy future. The keys to developing community wind here in North America are the same as they are in Europe. Most importantly, you must have the right to connect your wind turbine or your solar panel to the grid. You must have the right to sell that electricity to the grid and there must be a mechanism in place that determines a price for the electricity. The thing that the message that is important to me, we can do this. This is, this is not miracle, it's not something that is completely uh, for people who have their heads in, in the clouds. It is something that in the real world can be done. And for that, uh, something like Freyand, of course, is the model. Uh, this is rural, yes. Um, it is not very densely inhabited, yes. But uh, it is a first step, and we can show uh, in Freyand that it can be done. Well, I think what we've learned from Europe is that this stuff, renewable energy happens when, you, when there's political leadership at the end of the day. And that has to come from municipal level, that has to come from state or province level, that has to come from the federal level to, to not only to set the vision, um, but also to create the policies that, that move renewable energy forward. It's the same thing if you compare SAMHSA to other areas. You, you can say, well, every house is different, but every area is also different. You can't just copy the SAMHSA project to anywhere else. You really need to, to look into what, what, uh, uh, what society are you dealing with, and, and uh, of course in means of, of what materials do you have, what, uh, what kind of wind situation, what kind of solar situation, what kind of biomass situation, but also you need to, to look into what kind of people are living there. I mean, on, on Samsø, it's, uh, I was surprised. I moved here f four years ago from Copenhagen and I would never have thought that, that this um, community would, would be a renewable energy community. It, it's actually a very traditional, very uh, farming orientated, uh, not very ecological society. And then, uh, then what has made these people think so, so much about renewable energy? And I think it's, it, has, it has not so much to do about the polar bears in Greenland or, uh, or the climate change. It has, has much more to do with, with the local society and a new project to be together about. 
So North America needs a massive reconstruction of its in infrastructure and we can use renewable energy to reindustrialize the North American economy to replace those jobs that are being lost in Ontario and Windsor and Oshawa. Those jobs are being lost in Detroit. We can re-employ our people building the things that we need for the future, building the solar systems and building the wind turbines that we need for our future and we should begin immediately. And we need policies that make this possible. What's, what can be frustrating about looking at renewable energy is, is just knowing the vast potential we have in Canada. Uh, no, and not only from a, not from a clean energy point of view, but from an industrial development, from a, an economic point of view. I mean, we're, there's, there's such a potential here uh, to take advantage of um, you know, creating a whole new industry and creating a long-term sustainable industry that at the same time has great environmental benefits. And so some way, and so, sometimes that, that can be frustrating just because we're not, we don't seem to be taking advantage of this, this great solution that we're, we're basically sitting on. But at the same time, you know, in, in the 10 years that I've been involved in this, uh, you've seen, you're starting to see that mind shift. You're starting to see the ground, the ground moving. Whereas, you know, 10 years ago, we were, we, we weren't even, we, we weren't even, talking about this as a real solution and, and the, the game is the game has changed so much even in the last you know five to ten years you see these advances in technologies and advances in policies uh, you know all around the world and starting to happen in Canada too so at the same time at the same time I'm hopeful that we're we're, we're getting there